omg hey chickadees i hope i don't look like too much like dog doo-doo but like uh today was such a struggle getting the dogs like ready like this morning and like last night i was just like uh my back is killing me still like i'm having the worst back pain ever from like the sleeping arrangements at my sister's place like first i tried sleeping on the air mattress and that messed up my lower back then i slept on her bed last night the night the other night and then that messed up my whole back and then last night i slept on the the couch because it felt a little bit better but my back still hurts really bad but i'm making this today because today i'm getting my new car oh my gosh i'm trying like not to get too excited because like i don't want to like hype it up too much like we have to remain calm you know neutral energy i have to get some paperwork together but my car is completely empty that's why i'm holding my phone because there's nothing in my car the only things in my car right now is my aux cord my parking pass and my like easy pass for the tolls so yeah chickadees um i'll keep y'all posted throughout the day yeah bye <laughs> I got a wet wipe because I was just taking some pictures on tractor trailer equipment, looking all mask for a mask. Okay, okay. But this is the new whip. How do you like it, chickadees? This is it. It's a 2018 Chevrolet Camaro, bitch. Baby, the shit and shenanigans I had to go through to get this motherfucking car. First of all, my down payment, I had to wire it to them. So I had to go back to the dealership to get my actual plates put on it. And they were so rude to me today. And then there was a tail light that was out. So I was like, um, y'all need to replace that because like, that's illegal to sell me a car that doesn't have a light that works. So they had to, they were so rude to me. They were giving me all these different runarounds. And eventually I finally got someone who like helped me out. So now we are good. We're all set. New wheels unlocked. I never have to go to that place ever again. If there's anything wrong with my car, Godspeed. Hope there isn't. I'll go to a different mechanic because no. Just no. See ya, chickadees, the dog shit in the house. I'm not shocked. Um. But yeah, I put on this fire outfit so I could take some pictures. Since tomorrow is the big day, I get my chest tattoo. So I'm not really going to be able to take pictures for a couple weeks. Um, so, oh my God, chickadee. So should I go to the beach? Should I take a trip to Virginia Beach and get some pictures done at one of those like old like um, antique photo places? I, I don't know if I made a video like mentioning I wanted to do this, but I wanted to go... Oh my God, chickadees. So I worked from home today, right? And tell me why my supervisor called me. I was getting messages left and right. I literally had to do so much work today. And usually when I work from home, like I don't have to do anything and they just leave me alone. So I'm just like, why are y'all bothering me? And of course, this is the day where I took my laptop with me and I was going like out and about, going to the dealership. And then since they were playing with me, I went to my dad's work and was like, yo, like this is what they doing to me they're telling me to come back at two so what i thought was going to be a quick like 12 to 1 like you know turn into a whole 12 to 4 like shenanigans and i'm just like oh my god but you know i should have realized that because first of all it's a full moon today and second of all it's a car dealership it's it's like a mechanic like mechanics are notorious for just taking there's sweet old little time. So I should have freaking known better. Should have known better. But yeah, chickadees. I'm walking all the way to the mailbox. You're probably like, where is he walking to? To the mother effing mailbox. Because it's all the way down this road. It's a grandma's house. There's like one other house across the street. The neighbor's over there. You see the neighbor? <laughs> Of course, like so awkward. I hate that. This is the second time this has happened where I walked all the way down here to get the mail and there's no mail. 
Oh, y'all can see the house. They're like really close to the street. So it's kind of like funny, like the juxtaposition where like this house is so far back, but their house is like right there. But I think they have a really big backyard. But yeah, chickadees, I'm just like, today is August 31st, tomorrow is September 1st, which will mean today it's 15 more days to my birthday. Hey, hey, but tomorrow it'll be 14 days to my mother effing birthday. And yeah, so, oh, anyway, so I was going to take a trip. Because I took that Friday off, September 15th. But I want to go to the beach, like, Thursday night. And then Friday. I don't want to go, like, on a weekend. I want to leave the hotel on Friday. Damn, I look so fucking good, chickadees. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, but damn. Like, it's just such a shame that, like, what's up, bro? Like, what's up, man? Like, I just wish I was confident enough, like, code switching and I would be unstoppable. But trust me, chickadees, in one year, once I get these motherfucking guns developed and get these motherfucking abs and I get some chesticles, baby, I'm unstoppable. I'm unstoppable. Call me Kim Possible. So yeah. So yeah, chickadees, so yeah. But anyways, ni hao. I miss BFF. I miss BFF and all her BFF-isms. We have to like make up for all of her BFF isms because you know, we don't get that as much anymore. Like I kind of wish BFF would do like one weekend with her boyfriend and one weekend with her BFFs. Not even a weekend, just one day a week. Just give us one day a week, Ariana. Like, please. Like, you're, you're, like aren't y'all past the honeymoon phase? Like, aren't y'all like past the phase where y'all need to be like up underneath each other? Like whenever you have free time, like, ugh, come on. <sighs> We're greedy. Your BFFs are greedy, Ariana. Ariana, what the hell are you doing here? Uh, but yeah, chickadees, like this week has just been so freaking crazy. It's not even over and it's just gonna get crazier because when I get this tattoo done, like it's gonna change. Like these already, like, because I've had this one for a month now. And I've had this only for two weeks. And I still get like gagged when I put like tank tops on. I'm like, oh my God, like, oh my God. Like, uh, uh, because you know, like all my tattoos are on my legs. Cause you know, I'm a drug dealer apparently. Baby, now with this car, now with this car, maybe I might become a drug dealer. Cause baby, this thing's gotta get paid off. I don't know how the hell I'm gonna pay this shit off. But I got this shit this get the, blah, blah, blah. I gotta get this shit paid off. I gotta get this shit paid off. Ew, do you hear the dog barf? Disgusting. Disgusting. Damn. I feel so fine driving it. It's so funny because people will like speed past me who have like, 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 um, like shitty cars will like speed past me. And I'm like, okay, whatever. I don't care. I'm not burning up my gas. I'm not trying to prove anything. And I find that, um, trucks, big trucks, they like, they zoom past me too. I got into a, a race with a big truck. They beat me because I still don't know how to like go super fast. Like obviously chickadees, I know you press the gas pedal, but like, there's different modes on it. So there's like touring and there's sport mode. So like, apparently, yeah. I don't know, it's just so surreal. Like literally when I was at home today, cause I went home to take a shower cause I hate the shower here. I literally was just like looking out the window at it and it's just like, I was like, this is, this is my car. Ugh, I'm getting all dirty. This is my car. like. Chickadees, this is my core. Cool. I need to fix that posture. Posture chat. I wish I was Hispanic so I could be a cholo. Is it cholo? Chola? Chola is the girl. Cholo is the boy. Y'all know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying, Chickadee Henry. 
but instead I'm gonna be like a post Malone. So I'm like post Malone chickadees. Look at my hair. Oh my God, isn't that so funny? I had to like blow dry it to get it to go like this. So it look cute. I'm so sorry. I'm feeling myself, chickadees. I'm feeling myself because work is over. Because I have tomorrow off. We have Monday off. But yeah, chickadees, I'm going to keep it cute. I'm going to keep it short. Y'all have seen my license plate, so please don't be reporting me to the DMV. Y'all, I ran another toll again today. Like, damn. But I, I submitted the thing to pay the ticket, so hopefully it goes through. What should I name my car? I'm thinking about naming it him, her. I don't even know. What are my car's pronouns, guys? It's, it's she, he, her, they, them, zer, zed, fe, fairy, fez, foom, fez, fairy, foom. I don't freaking know, chickadees. I, I kind of want to name him No Face, like from the movie Spirited Away. He's No Face. No Face. I love that the windows were tinted when I got it. Like, ah. Uh, hey. All I know is just like, uh, let me prop my phone up. Can this prop up right here? This can prop right here. Oh, baby. Give me an A. Give me an R. Give me an I. Give me an A. Give me an N. Give me an N. Give me an A. What's that spell? Ariana. Have a BFF day. Ew. Chickadees, how much do you think my sister should pay me for dog sitting? My parents and I are like all having a disagreement. I said that she should pay me $500 because I looked up that the average like bougie, cause you know, they're bougie. The average bougie place pays $40 a night per dog. So they have two dogs. So it'd be $80, which seven nights, that is uh, $560, not including tax. So, I mean, like, I'm charging them cheaper. Plus, I have to take care of a stray cat. And these aren't just regular dogs. Like, they have, like, a bunch of stuff that has to happen. Plus, I'm taking care of their house, which doesn't really need to be taken care of. But you know what I'm saying. My mom says I should ask for 300 And my dad thinks that she's going to pay me $150. I said, $150? Bitch, $150? Like... Girl, give me $500. Give me $500. Do you see me? Do you see me? I am cute, petite, and ready to eat. McDonald's don't have a Dollar Tree anymore. I don't have a Dollar Tree anymore. So I need my money. And I don't want no Venmo or Cash App, bitch. I want it in Apple Cash, Apple Pay, whatever it's called. Pay me my money. Bitch, sell me my money. Don't sell me my money because it, no. Pay me my money. Do you guys see this? Look, see how this one has shading right there and this one doesn't? I'm gonna have to ask him like, Justin, can you pretty please? put shading there and then look you see how this one has like a flick at the end and this one doesn't have a flick at the end so i'm gonna be like yo can you flick this one at the end and so like this one needs something and then this one needs it this i the flick will create symmetry but this i mean also will create symmetry but i just feel like something's a bit missing there even when i first got this i was like it seems like something's missing there and then when i got this one i was like that's what it is he didn't shake the shading high enough so it looks like awkward it looks like he forgot to fill that in so I'm hoping he does this. And then I have to wear this necklace tomorrow and take a Sharpie. And I have to pick a make a dot right here. Because I don't want the tattoo to go anywhere in this region. Because when I wear button-up shirts, 
I when I button up not the top button but like the the one down this is where like this is the skin that shows and I don't want to have to always have the top button up or wear like a t-shirt because a t-shirt neckline would be like to here um because I don't want it to be visible I can't have it be visible because of my career my job but it's gonna be literally like right here so when I forget to wear my necklace, which I might not even wear my necklace that much because I'll have it literally tattooed on my body. It's gonna be a cross and a heart, sacred, sacred heart with a cross. Um, because technically like, supposedly like wearing jewelry and stuff is not very like, it's kind of like frowned upon, I, not in Christianity, but like in Buddhism, I think. But I'm gonna keep my earrings in because I love my earrings, but like, yeah. I mean, I'll probably still wear this, but. And it's so funny because the guy I look up to, Jonah Almost, like one of my style icons, like um, he just got a tattoo where it's a it's a necklace and it has a cross on it. Like that's the tattoo. It's so sick. It's so cool. He's like so cool. He does like all the cool edgy stuff I wish I had the balls to do, but like, no. Oh my God, and chickadees, in one of my classes, there's like a couple like male models, like they model with the college and so maybe I might ask them if like I could do like a photo shoot like or ask them like how they get started like getting on like a modeling team because that would be so cool like even if it's just like VCU like the pictures aren't going anywhere it would still be cool just like have like professional photos done like because y'all know me I love modeling I'm just like I'm like Let me not get into it. Baby, I said I would keep this cute. And it's getting longer and longer and longer. Let me peace out. These dogs are probably hungry. I'm a little hungry. And maybe I might drink a little beer or something tonight. I don't freaking know. I don't freaking know. I was supposed to hook up with JB tonight. But I'm not even going to message him. Because I'm done with him. I'm done with JB. JB is out. JB is out. Literally, give me one week and I'm going to unadd him on Snapchat and I'm going to block his phone number because JB, you're out. You played with my heart. You played with my heart. And now it's time for me to pull the cord. And that Evan dude who I hooked up with, I'm about to unadd him on Instagram and Snapchat in a couple weeks maybe like a month or so so he kind of like forgets about me well he'll never forget about me am i like autistic i think i'm slightly autistic maybe that's like why like i have a hard time like really relating to people because i'm like slightly autistic who freaking knows but anyways i like doing this now oh my god bless you darby darby was just sneezing Oh my god, there's a mouse in the house. I forgot to tell y'all chickadees. I saw a mouse this morning in the house. It was like, rear, 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 and went under the dishwasher. And I tried kicking it to like see if it would scurry out. Which is stupid because I'm like, girl, I'm not going to be able to catch a mouse if it comes out. But yeah, there's a motherfucking mouse in the house. There's a mouse in the house. There's a mouse in the house. Hey. Uh, yeah, fuck me. Uh, yeah. Oh, oh my god, let me go inside. Bye, chickadees. Bye, chickadees. Oh my god, we do have one crisis. There's nowhere for me to clip my like phone thing. So I have to figure out how I'm going to record in the new whip. But we'll figure it out. We'll figure it out, chickadees. Chickadees, I'm not even going to film out inside of it. I'm going to just stand outside and film like this because it's too darn cool. Just kidding, chickadees. That's weird. My new whip. My new little whip or whatever. Now I have to make sure that whenever I drive, I wear like cool outfits because like, I either have to wear really cool outfits or I have to wear like really trashy outfits. Cause like, those are the only aesthetics that go with that car. Like, <clears throat> like, you know, like pajama shorts and like a really oversized shirt or like a really like revealing tank top. I feel like would be very, oh shit, I forgot the cup. Damn it. Uh. 
All right, well, I gotta go, chickadees. Bye. Hey, chickadees. We're in the new whip. Um, so, oh, oh, I had it perfectly, and now, oh, not their car breaking down right there at the stop, at the bus stop. At the bus stop. Not the city bus stop, but like the school bus stop. Oh, God. I had it perfectly, and then I had to mess it up. Um, but yeah, chickadees. I don't know how we're gonna do this moving forward um, so like I could still do like videos where like my car is parked and I can talk because like my dash is like flat unlike the Versa where like it was just completely curved so I could get like a mini like I have one like a mini phone tripod and put on my phone my, um, my dash so yeah you guys would be like up here like you guys would be right here but it would have to be you know when the car's not moving or they make a phone holder and you would be kind of like right here but it's like really expensive and I don't know if I want to buy that but this is really good like angle though like if if the camera could be right here that would be pretty good that would be pretty sick Oh yeah, man. So this body round, what up, um? So yeah, chickadees. I officially have, I officially have had this car for over a week now. I'm finally like, getting used to it. Here's like the view from my eyes. Oh my god, there's a man walking. I'm crying. Oh my god. Oh my god. I have to like get out here before he walks. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I just like hit him with a rock. Oops. Yeah, chickadees, I sit like really low to the ground. And like, look, that's the back window. Um, I'm working from home today and we're going to get um, coffee and donuts. Last Thursday, when I worked from home, it was an absolute nightmare. Literally, I was getting messages from my supervisors left and right. I kept getting like she called me like they gave me a phone call it was very dramatic but I think it was because it was like a full moon and because my um supervisor had a theory that like I was lying to her about like why I wanted to leave work early which she is correct I was lying but you know like how like are they really gonna like let me leave early from work so I can go buy a car like people don't want to know the truth like so I'm going to give you an excuse. <sighs> but yeah, chickadees. Um, oh my gosh, I need to like talk about the guy that I was talking to. So basically like on Grindr, like when I was at my sister's house, there was like a couple dudes who hit me up. And one of them was this guy named Andrew. And he like was like love bombing me and like taking the conversation very far and you know me I was just like e -he -he, I'm just gonna enjoy it blah 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 but uh, it finally got to a point to where I was like okay well I'm not just gonna like entertain this if there's no like intentions behind this so let me figure out like who this dude is so I googled his phone number and got his full name and then I googled his full name and then his mugshot popped up and I was like oh lordy lord so then I was like okay there has to be like a way for you to find like how people like what people's charges are so I ended up finding like the website for like my state where you can look up the court system and like trials and stuff that have happened but it's only for like adults so I looked up his name and boom there it was so there was like this huge list of charges probably like over 20 charges right and I confronted him about it and he was like cool he was like somewhat open about it but you know obviously he's gonna he's gonna play down everything to make himself look better but come on dude like let's be real trouble don't find you you find trouble so um and then he was like, which he made it worse because he was like, yeah, a lot of it happened like when I was like underage, like when I was like 16 to 18. I was like, oh, so those charges are not going to pop up. So there's even more 
charges. Gotcha. So yeah, chickadees. Um, we like. I was like, oh yeah, everything's fine. Everything's cool. Like I'm not gonna judge you. I'll have an open mind. But then like after that, like he kind of like dwindled his conversation and stopped talking to me, which I'm thankful for because obviously I don't want to be talking to a criminal. Um, but my whole thing is, is I have a theory that he is looking for a victim for his next crime. I have a feeling that this guy wants to, because honestly, at this point, he has nothing left to lose. Like he's in a gang. He has all these charges. He still look like he's back at home with his family. Like he has to get out on his own. And the only way to do that is to get money and money quick. So he's obviously looking for someone to take advantage of to like, you know, either, you know, pay half the bills in like an apartment or pay all the bills. Um, or if he's looking to continue his criminal, you know, dwellings, there was this case in Maryland. Um, I don't know when it happened, but I know that like it was on the news again this year where a man on Grinder messaged a guy and they met up and eventually what happened was the guy robbed the dude um, of his like of his car like he like threatened him at gunpoint and got in his car and stole his car which like clearly like how can you really get away with doing that like obviously we have technology to find cars but oh my god but I kind of have a theory like oh my god like what if this guy eventually like that's like his goal is to steal my car steal my money so I'm not gonna rock with a criminal I'm not I'm sorry but I don't want a gangsta boo I need to just park over here there's like a bunch of parking spots I hate parking. Okay, I'm gonna put this down so I can park chickadees. Okay, chickadees, so this time I got cold brew. You guys can't even see it because the napkins are in the way. I got cold brew and it tastes so much better than the iced coffee that they sell. So that's like a slime. I like did the worst parking job ever. I'm like literally taking up two parking spots. I backed in, but I was like, I don't really care because I'm just running in and out, you know? And if someone were to say something to me like, oh, you're so bad at parking, I would be, literally be like, I know I'm bad at parking. Thank you. Thank you for validating my concerns. <laughs> but yeah, chickadees, parking this car is like really difficult. It's just like, I'm not used to it because my other car, like it had a very small, like the front of it was really small but it had a longer back. But this car, the front is really long and has a really short back. So my proportions of like where I'm at, like it's like so like off. Like, like when I'm in a parking spot, I have to make sure that like I'm in, like the driver's seat is in the middle of the spot instead of like towards the front. Otherwise I'm gonna hit my bumper. And then I'm like, also how come cameras don't have like front and backup cameras? Cause like sometimes you need a front camera, like uh, oh, excuse me. To see if you'll bump up out of scrape or not. Girl, what's going on with this light? But yeah, chickadees. So then I'm talking to this other guy. Um, and he's like really nice. It's just like, I, it's gonna sound so bad, chickadees. It's, I'm gonna sound so bad, but like he's like obese. Like he's literally obese. But he's like he's nice and like he works in like accounting so like I probably don't see him like in a, a way that is like romantically or like sexually but like I wouldn't mind being like friends with him and like networking but it's just like how do you go like how do you like explain to someone like oh I'm not really into you I guess just like that. Uh, I guess just like that. Like baby boy, I don't want to sleep or lay next to you. But yeah, chickadees. 
One more week to my birthday. One more freaking week to my birthday. What's playing on the radio? What the hell is this? Boring. Boring. Let's go to the mail. Boring. 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 I'm not trying to get copyrighted. But yeah, chickadees, this was a cute little check in. Check in and check out. Bye. Can't see.